Hi everyone, Vacha here from RecordingStudio9.com and thanks for joining me again today. As we know, the two most common tools used to shape our audio are compression and EQ. So today I'm going to talk about the Presonus Studio One version 3, especially Prime, the free DAW, the channel strip which has compress on for compression. And I'm going to demonstrate what the compressor does and how it works by showing you some waveforms that I have recorded as multiple takes and each take that I had done I had different setting. So we're going to look at those and compare. Obviously different audio sources, different audio instruments will have different effect because they have diff different transients and different um, characteristics but this will give you some visual idea of what the compressor does because we can't technically see um, audio. So audio is represented uh, by waveform shapes and this also gives us some indication of what the compressor is actually doing. So the first take is basically in bypass mode. I had my channel strip, everything is turned off as, as well as the compressor. It's turned off in bypass mode and I recorded my drum track. So we have a couple of cymbals there and a couple of kick drums and so on. As I mentioned, it doesn't matter what the audio is. We're just going to look what the compressor knob does in different instances of the setting of this parameter. So having a look, take two and take three. Now in take two, all I did is I increased my compression to 50% on fast. So you will see, looking back, you will see how the compressor started working and compressing the audio, especially the transients right at the beginning of each of the waveform, including here and here and here and so on and a little bit of there. So because it's on fast, so it actually acting as soon as the first transient come in. So the fast meaning it basically has fast attack and fast release settings. And 50% compression, I would assume it will be 2 to 1 and so on. You can always measure the compression ratio by looking at the waveforms and how far it actually, how many dB it reduced, but I'm not going to go through that. So the next take that I had done, take 3, this time I add, uh, added the compression to 100%. And now as we can see in the waveform from 50% to 100%, the waveform is really compressed down to this level. So taking care of all the first transient peaks and leveling it um, to this level. So it's highly compressed audio. The next stage I did is obviously put it on medium and on 50% compression. So take four, I had medium with 50% compression. This time, as you can see, some of the transient do go through, even though there is some uh, medium compression uh, there as well. But transients do go through because medium means the uh, compressor doesn't activate after a little bit of extra time. And take 5 is basically still on medium, but this time I increase it to 100%. Again, we can see how some of the initial transients do go through, they don't get compressed, but once it passes that attack time, the compressor comes on and comp compresses uh, the rest of the audio. Looking again, take six, this time I did have the slow, what they call it, dynamic speed. So slow attack, slow release, and at 50%. So as you can see, a lot more of the transients, initial transients are going through, and then being compressed and keeping it compressed as well. And then the last take, which is take seven, I had slow with 100% compression on. Again, as we can see, most of the transients go through, but this time uh, there is a lot more compression happening on the waveform, so they're being compressed a lot more, obviously, than the 50% compression on. Well, I hope this gives you a better idea of what the fast, medium and slow setting of a dynamic speed setting of the channel strip compressor does and with the compression on at 50% at 100% and 
and so on and anything in between. So as you are shaping your wave audio, your waveforms, you have now, I hope, a better understanding of what setting works best. But again, as I mentioned in all of my videos, you still need to use your ears to get the best sound. Because sometimes, even though on a waveform, it might look really nice to have it on um, slow and 50% compression or less and so on, but it might be better off here, you might hear it better on medium at more compression or less compression and so on. So always use your ears to make the judgment of what speed you want, fast, medium or slow, and how much compression you want to add to your audio. Well, I hope this was helpful. If it was, please do give me the thumbs up. And if you have any comments you like to make in regards to this uh, video explaining the, uh, well, showing you how the channel strips compression works, feel free to comment below. I'm more than happy to answer them for you. I will be doing a lot more videos about the channel strip and a few of the other VST plugin in Presonus Studio One Prime, the free DAW. So make sure you subscribe. That way you get the latest video that I upload as soon as I upload it. And as always, I hope you make great music. And until next time, cheerio. Cheerio.